Mature Ethical Behavior. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 494. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our September 11th, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is supporting mature ethical behavior. Supporting mature ethical behavior. What is mature ethical behavior? Well, poisoning your neighbor's water or food or even poisoning our own food is probably not considered mature ethical behavior. And um, poisoning our air is not really considered mature ethical behavior. I think it would be considered like creating systems that are by definition not sustainable and living models that are by definition not sustainable, meaning they can't be sustained long term because they take more than they give, would probably not be considered mature ethical behavior. And so our definition of mature ethical behavior can be wrapped up in one of our top values. Well, it can be wrapped up in all three of our top values, living and creating for the highest good of all, open source creation, and sustainability. Like these are our top three values as an organization, and we think that they are really the foundations of supporting mature ethical behavior because living and creating for the highest good of all means that every decision that we make, we do our absolute best to ask the question, like what is in support of what is best for all people and all life on this planet in this moment? And recognizing that, do we really have it all figured out? Absolutely not. Are we doing our best to do what we think is for the highest good of all people in life on this planet? Absolutely, yes, we are. And so we think that just that commitment alone and living and making our decisions from that place is supporting mature ethical behavior. What about open source? Well, we are open source, open sourcing all the foundations of a sustainable civilization. And we have broken those foundations into two categories. There's the physical foundations and there's emotional foundations. The physical foundations everybody's familiar with. They are food, energy, and housing. The emotional foundations, which we think are arguably maybe even more important than the physical foundations, we have summarized into fulfilled living practices, what we call high school approaches to education, economics, and true earth stewardship. And so we're putting all of these things together and we are open sourcing all of the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for replicating them as do-it-yourself projects because we see this as a path to creating a sustainable planet within our lifetime. Because if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate these things as attractive enough, then the idea will become self-replicating. And a self-replicating model like this that demonstrates a way of living that is better than the way that most people live right now that I've referenced in other videos as luxury living and even gone so far as to say the, a millionaire lifestyle. Not because you're living on a yacht, but because you have access to the food that the that, that is the highest quality food on the planet, the cleanest water, the most enriching and uh, vibrant environment possible that is living in a house that doesn't have any toxins in the construction materials, that's, that's thriving on 100% renewable energy, that has a highest good approach to education that is very kid-centric and involves parents. Like These are the kinds of things that the most wealthy people in the world are paying good money for and we want to create an environment that provides those things just inherent and as a foundation of the environment itself. So open source, our second, one of our second, high, uh, number two of our highest values. And then the third one I said is sustainability. You know, so supporting mature ethical behavior, well, sustainability is definitely a big part of that is like, how can we live sustainably in all aspects of our life? How can everything that we're doing be sustainable? You know, we've asked ourselves that question, like, what does radical sustainability look like? And how can we do that? Not as a sacrifice, but as a foundation for creating a way of living that is better than the way that's living right now. 
Like, doesn't that make sense? Like to create a foundation of sustainability that, that reduces the cost of living, provides more free time, and then create an environment that gives you more things to do with that free time than you have even in a major metropolitan area than where I'm at right now, which is Los Angeles, all within walking distance and all for free for everybody that's living within that, within that environment. Doesn't that make sense? We think it does. You know, so supporting mature ethical behavior for us, supporting it on a global scale is open sourcing and free sharing everything that you see happening in the background of this video and so much more covering the food, the energy, the housing, the fulfilled living practices, the highest good education models, economic models, and true earth stewardship, putting all that together and open sourcing and free sharing that so it's easy enough, affordable enough, and then demonstrating it as we build it and create the living experience, showing that the more fun, the more enjoyable, the more amazing and abundant the lifestyle is that we're living, the more we demonstrate that it really is a millionaire lifestyle. It really is luxury community living. And what it means as people age and what their what their experience is going to be as as senior citizens within this environment, as an example, or even as teenagers growing up in an environment, or children getting their education with this environment, what that really means to people on a deep personal level, on a growth level, and what it means to the world as we share this, that is how we're supporting mature ethical behavior. And we're an all, uh, we're an all volunteer, including myself, nonprofit organization, we're a non-governmental organization, we're open sourcing and free sharing every single thing that we create so that it can be replicated, so it can be improved, and so we can create a global cooperative, a global collaborative of teacher demonstration hubs working around the world to open source and free share and develop even more tools and resources and contribute to the global suite, the foundation of open source plans covering all these different areas to create even more, to create even more options so that people can pick and choose the things that they like and so that the teacher demonstration hubs can become better and better and better and we can demonstrate even more mature ethical behavior and supporting even more mature ethical behavior for others. And everything that we're creating is modular. So for people to look at it and they're like, I don't want to live in a community like that. I'm not interested in community living. I just want to do my own thing. You know, that's great. Every component that we're creating in open sourcing and free sharing, if you take one of those components and implement it, well, you're a step closer. Like it's been designed with a mindset and a philosophy for the highest good of all people in life on this planet, thinking of mature ethical behavior and what that looks like when applied to each one of these components. And so by creating it modularly, we're, our goal is to create something for everybody so that people with very radically different values or goals or ideas of what living looks like can have something that we've created that they can apply in their lives. And therefore, we're all supporting mature ethical behavior in some way, shape, or form. And One Community wants to create something for everyone. So this is what One Community is doing. This is what how we're creating a better world for everybody. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, if you like what it is that we're creating, subscribe. Uh, get a weekly dose of positivity in your YouTube channel. Uh, you can also subscribe to our weekly progress update blog, which shares exactly what our team, our all-volunteer team, has accomplished within the last week. Uh, credits every individual on that team, as well as the core team. Uh, if you'd like to see all the open source tools, resources, tu tutorials, everything that we've created that I'm talking about with that's related to mature ethical behavior, visit our website. Of course, if you'd like to help out, if you'd like to support us, just watching this video is a great way to do that. Visit our helping page. Uh, you obviously could donate to our project. Like I said, we're a 100% volunteer organization, and uh, none of us are paid, including myself. So 100% of donations go right into our open source goals and supporting uh, what it is that we're creating. So those make a big difference. And um, yeah, of course, you can also just watch the end of this video, which helps our algorithm. So if you want to stick around for another couple minutes, you'll see bullet points and all the major components of our project. And uh, know that until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. So thanks for following our progress, and we'll see you next week. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, 
part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to High's Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.